let's hear all about it. That ugly word, menopause. Our West Calix Forbes has some insight into that. And coming up in sports, boats, boats, and more boats. Charles Fisher and his crew are at the Brown Regatta. Tonight, access now starts now. Good evening, I'm Marcellus Hall. And I'm LaDawn Davis. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, Access Now. Well, after a rainy week, we have a holiday weekend to look forward to, LaDawn. Listen to me, Marcellus, I can't wait. I have so much plans for the holiday weekend. I imagine so. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's dive right into the news for us tonight. Officials of the Road Traffic Department again appealing to members of the public to collect their license plates promptly at any of its hubs in New Providence. Department Deputy Controller of the Road Traffic Department, Dennis Sturb, says failure to display license plates is an offense that carries a hundred dollar fine and they're working to ensure a smooth collection process. There is uh, a number of plates that are outstanding. All persons who receive plates in the DA and, and the DB up to 600, they're required to come into the um, road traffic departments wherever they license their vehicles so that they'll be able to receive their plates. We have a, a number, we have a, a large number of plates that are not collected. We are now thinking that um, we're going to use all resources we have in order to ensure that uh, persons come to collect plates. Uh, so we are now um, appealing the persons who have letters to come into the road traffic department and to be able to collect their plates. The series that are outstanding is DA001 to 9999. That's roughly almost... Um, almost a thousand plates. A major symposium at the Margaritaville Resort West Bay Street highlighting the unique challenges of females around the globe. The event part of observances marking the International Day of the Girl Child sponsored by the Ministry of Social Services. Minister of Social Services Information and Broadcasting is the Honorable Miles LaRoda. There are many countries in the world that women don't have the voice that they have in, 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 in the country. Now, things are not perfect. Things are not perfect, but we have set a foundation, and I think part of that foundation um, was that women were at the, the forefront of the struggle for majority rule, the suffrage movement. The men may have benefited, but those men stand on, stood on the shoulders of women of, of the day who sacrificed for themselves because some of their rights came later on. And so I think we should be grateful and we should pay homage to the efforts that are made, have been made by women, the efforts that continue to, to be made, but also to educate the young, the young girls, the, the generation, the, what we consider the privileged generation who don't have to fight the same battles that our grandparents and great-grandparents fought. We should sensitize them. The International Day of the Girl Child established by the United Nations in 2012 to highlight women's rights and girl empowerment. This year's theme, Girls' Vision for the Future, program participant Jada Adams and Felicia Clare. I can be the new, the new change of the world. I can be the new change of Nassau, Bahamas. I got that using my unique personality by just being me. I cannot be judged by other people. It's very exciting to be here. Um, I had the opportunity to perform and show off my skills and what I could do. And it's, it's very intaking. They give you a lot of information about being a girl and what it's like being in a male-dominated world. Well, in recognition of Menopause Awareness Month, the Surviving and Thriving Through Menopause ladies aim to break the silence surrounding menopause and provide support and information to those navigating this natural phase of life. Our West Calix Forbes spoke to the ladies. One person said to me, oh, I don't want to get involved in that because, you know, I don't want to talk about what's going on inside my body. It's, you know, it's personal. Um, and I was so, dis you know, I wasn't discouraged, but I, I felt so sorry for her because I felt as though that she's missing out on 
so much valuable information. To empower women who may feel shy or embarrassed to discuss this natural phenomenon called menopause, which is defined as 12 consecutive months without a menstrual cycle. Women from striving and thriving through menopause shared their personal stories and vital information about menopause. The panel featured diverse voices, each offering their perspective. Anxiety. I remember insomnia. Three days, three nights, I could not sleep. I felt like things were crawling on me. Um, and, you know, in talking to my mom, that's your go-to as a daughter. And she couldn't relate. She did not have these symptoms. And... I think the lack of knowing, the lack of education is a lot of the, is a lot of the problem and um, we have to join together. We have to get the word out there. Yeah. I am so grateful for this panel of women. The range of different backgrounds and professions each offered a unique experience with menopause. The past two years got really, really scary. Yes, I thought I was dying. And Miss Lockhart came in June to Harbor Island to do a workshop. And I attended, and the dots connected for me. I've done all the ologists, the psychiatrists, the psychologists, the gynecologists. Nobody mentioned the word menopause, no specialist. When Ms. Lockhart made her presentation, she presented 35 symptoms. I had 27 of those symptoms going on in my body, and I didn't know what was going on with me. So it's been a journey the past two years. The community expressed gratitude for the opportunity to learn more about menopause, which didn't fall on deaf ears. We have a number of activities planned um, across the Bahamas on Friday, October 5th. We will have a press special presentation in North Eleuthera. Then we move on to Harbor Island on October 5th, where there will be another menopause presentation for the women there. And on Saturday, October 19th, here in the capital, we are having Harmony and Change, a menopause workshop for the women here in Nassau. Saw. Then we go on to Grand Bahama on October 26th. There will be another menopause workshop for the women there in Grand Bahama. For the Bahamas tonight, I'm Wes Calix Forbes. Well, still to come tonight, it's Entertainment Friday. LaDonna, you ready to do some winding up? I'm ready to run and shake up and everything else. You know how we do it, Bahamian style. <laughs> All right, stay with us. Coming up. Have you been waiting for windows? Then wait no more. Connet Bahamas have in stock now PVC sliding windows, casement windows, and impact sliding windows with mirror tinted glass, all in different sizes and styles. Call us at 352-1301 or visit any of our four locations in Freeport, Nassau, Abaco, and Duluthra for the great products and great prices. Open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Connet Bahamas, dream, design, deliver. Here's another JBI product. It's frowning. What do you do in frowning? You use it in your rice, you use it in your soup, you use it even on your meat. Browning gives a rich flavorful taste and brown color. Look what we have, JBI kidney beans. Put them in your rice with your browning. My parents and I have been, have been using this drink for over a year now. I have benefit and benefit that I'll drink it every day if I could. Try JBI. Happy anniversary, JBI. Have some 30 years. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Bahamas. Hey, Mom, can you look after Kaylee? Sorry, I'll be out for a while doing my home and car insurance. What? You know there's a newer way, right? A newer way? Where have you been? Look, go to newerinsurance.com, log in, get your quote, buy your insurance, done. You can even use it to manage a claim. Oh? By the way, it's not newer. It's N-U-A. Where's she been? 
do it anyway with NUA Insurance Agents and Brokers. Feel the difference. Ruby Sergio Tech in your car. Fill up with Ruby Sergio Tech. Spend less than so far. Do it up with Ruby Sergio Tech. Get the most out of every ride. Just watch your car perform. With the best fuel inside. Do it up with confidence. Tech in your tank and drive with a smile. Watch your car perform with the best fuel inside. You will the difference with Ruby's Ultra Tech. And you're looking at a beautiful sunset drone shot over Atlantis. Beautiful shot here. Let's head on down to Bryland with Charles Fisher and the crew. Family Island News is brought to you by Commonwealth Brewery Limited. Island Suite is what they say. Charles Fish is down in Ryland for regatta. He hung out with fisherman Ashley Presenti. Here's what Ashley had to say. Cheers! Welcome to Hot Ryland Regatta! Ryland Suite! Ryland Suite! Ryland life is just awesome, you know. Um, when we're not working, you know, we just have fun and we just come out and cook and um, just have fun. Uh, we had some grilled lobster and grilled punk, royal actually. So it's an awesome experience. Island life is sweet. We like to say bread and sweet. Whenever time is feasible, you know, like after we come in from fishing, depending on the catch, if it's not too much, we just prepare some of the same catch of that day. Bon appetit. Bahamian songbird and superstar Wendy 242 joins us live in studio uh, with a live performance uh, this Entertainment Friday. Wendy, welcome to the Bahamas Tonight Access Now. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been a long time. Yes, it's been a definitely you. long time. It's been a definitely <laughs> long time. So tell us, tell us, what, what, what have you been up to? Oh my goodness, I've been doing a lot this year. Um, one of the most exciting things, I, well, two exciting things I did this year. I'm now a member of the Recording Academy, a mm. voting member, which is a really, really big deal mm -hmm. um, to have me as a black Caribbean woman representation. You know, the Grammys oh, is the top thing in music and and, you know, for me to be able to have a seat at the table, mm. I get to help to shape and um, to make sure representation is there. And then the next biggest thing I did recently, I was at the Caribbean Music Awards. Mm. This is only the second one. I presented, I performed, um, I was the only Bahamian artist there, so it's very exciting. I'm having a blast this year. And how are you able to juggle all of this, uh, being a mother and, and, and I guess your career is now yeah. taking off? How, how are you able to juggle it? You know, people always ask, how do you balance? And I'm just like, I really don't. <laughs> Honestly, some days, some things fall by the way, and other days, other things fall by the way. You know, you just kind of have to decide, what am I doing today? What are my priorities? And you stick to that. But at the end of the day, I'm a mom. Um, my baby is one of the most important, the most important thing to me. And, you know, everything I'm doing right now is for her in order to leave a legacy for her. And until she can say, that's my mom and I'm proud of her. I know you recently, did you recently start a business or is that, is that? Um, no, 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 no. So talk us, talk us a little bit more about your career. Any new songs, any writing going on, what's going on? Yeah, so my, I have a few active singles this year. So last year I really focused on my album Unboxed and of course I came here and I told you guys about it. Um, so this year I've released It Calling Me, um, mm -hmm. which you guys are going to hear tonight. And I also released a song called Volaire off of a rhythm out of St. Lucia, as well as um, I have a collaboration with Shine242. It's called Keep Whining On Me. That's a Rake and Scrape song. So where did the inspiration come from for you to write your own music? Where yeah. did that come from? Yeah. You know, I like to hear the track first, and I see what the track is saying to me, how I want to feel. Most times, I want to feel like whining up myself, and so yes. I write music like that. But I have a great team, so shout out to Amar McDonald, who is one of my co-writers. And we always click. We always sing. He knows what I want to sing about, and I'm always making music for the ladies. Well, we're not sure. But we, won't, we don't want to give too much because you're going to perform live uh, for us this evening. Yes. But we're going to go to a break. Marcellus Hall has a look at what's coming up in sports. Marcellus. Hey, coming up in sports for tonight, we'll take a look at what's going on in the Bahamas Football Association. They got some really nice youth programs going on. Details ahead in sports. Health is the greatest gift. 
That's where we come in. Bahamas Medical and Surgical Supplies is a premier distributor of medical equipment, as well as medical and surgical consumables. Our engineers are always on hand, providing top care service that saves lives. We carry a wide selection of over-the-counter and prescription items, IV fluids, and other injections. Our products are state-of-the-art, and our entire team stays on top of cutting-edge technology. With more than two decades of dedicated service, Bahamas Medical and Surgical Supplies continues to be a trendsetter and innovator in healthcare. We have set ourselves apart by truly caring for our customers. We understand the intricacies of healthcare, and we produce spectacular results. We cherish our partnerships and nurture our friendships as we continue on our quest to help everyone maintain that wonderful gift of good health. Find us on 9th Fifth Terrace Centerville and now located in the Lucaya Shopping Center of Freeport, Grand Bahama. October is farming, trick-or-treating, and saving with the specials at super value and quality supermarkets. Country Barn Mayonnaise, 30 ounce, 369. Distinction Long Life Milk, assorted, 1 liter, 229. Kellogg's Giant Size Cereals, assorted, 23 to 28 ounce, 639. Yellow Onions, 3 pound bag, 289. Baby Back Spare Ribs, 339 per pound. Before October is over, shop and save at super value and quality supermarkets. Sardware is a helpful place. Everything you need under one roof. From electrical, paint, plumbing, outdoor, barbecue, automotive, lawn and garden, pet supplies, houseware and seasons. Hurricane season is now here. So for all your hurricane needs, we have a 25% off bargain zone. Hey, thanks. I would have gotten more stuff, but I didn't bring my money. I thought this was a club, and I thought everything was free. Finally know what it is now. Ace. We're located on St. Albans Drive, West Bay Street. Open Monday to Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And closed for lunch 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Well, welcome to your ZMS Total Sports Check Friday, everybody. I'm Marcellus Hall. The North Eleuthera Regatta, Harbor Island Regatta, is underway. Guess what? Our Charles Fisher has made the trek. Let's get him all caught up on what's going on. We are here in Harbor Island. The weather conditions on land, pretty good. Workers in the background getting things set for the onshore activities. But we got some disappointing news this morning. The barge carrying the C-class sloops weren't able to make it because of the rough seas. Staff from Bristol, Commodore, speaking dockside. All the guys are hyped up and they're ready to go to sail. But now we're having some difficulties with Mother Nature. I'm having some bad weather. So for that reason, the owners of the boat don't think it's safe for us to try to get into Naughty Lucha because of getting around the devil backbone. So for that reason, we have to cancel the trip to Naughty Lucha regrettably. If you are planning to get here to Harbor Island, your best way might be by air. The seas are rough, and that's because of the effects of Hurricane Milton. But we're going to still have a good time here over the next two days. In Harbor Island, for the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Charles Fisher. All right, thanks, Fisher. Moving right into other news, Bahamas Football Association has been really busy lately, in particular with their youth programs. Last weekend, they hosted their 4-on-4 four -four tournament as the Roscoe Davis Field coming to life. Twelve clubs competing in the various categories, which meant that dozens of young players getting the opportunity to compete. BFA Technical Director Bruce Swan says there's more to come. Well, um, we're going to be doing a lot more like this to create that um, festival environment for the kids. So um, the next one like this is going to be on November 2nd. But come next week, we will start off our youth league um, with the under-18 boys on, on Friday evening, 6.30. Then we come in the morning with our U13 girls and U15 girls at 9, followed by the U13 boys and U15 boys. Later that evening, we would have our... Under 18 boys playing some matches again and then um, to close off we have our women on Saturday and Sunday we kick off with the men. And that's it, your Friday check on sports. We do have our Friday weather forecast just ahead. Stay with us. The biggest one day all Bahamian concert of the year. Featuring KB, D Mac, Abby, Mama D, Fan Shaw, Shine 242, The Falcon, and more. More 
Mark your calendars. It's going down November the 2nd at Super Club Racers Ground. Tickets now available at BahamasETickets.com or both Beauty Shack location. Terminal admission, $60. VIP Skybox and Skybox also available. For more info, call 394-0819 or email Keep the Vibe Alive 242 at gmail.com. Experience the magic once again with more legends for one night only. Party with us November 2nd and best on the mat. Break and scrape explosion reloading. It's time for your access weather forecast and our live weather radar. It's void of uh, those echoes, save for a couple of showers making their way towards uh, Crooked Island. We'll also have some approaching the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. And your boating forecast tonight is brought to you by a live uh, business where you're always protected during the worst storms. In the northwestern parts of our country, uh, tonight through Saturday, northeast winds, 12 to 18 knots, the wave flies. They're going to be 3 to 6 feet with some very large uh, sea swells. Low tide takes place at 9.31 tonight. Let's talk the low tide at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Now for the central and southeastern islands through Saturday, easterly flow 10 to 15 knots, away by 3 to 6 feet with moderate swells. And then on Sunday for the northwestern islands, we'll have a zonal flow. That is winds blowing from the east at 12 to 18 knots. The wave flies 3 to 6 feet, so caution flags will remain in place for you boaters. Low tide 10.39 in the morning with a high tide at 4.57 in the afternoon. In the central and southeastern islands on Sunday, east to southeast winds, uh, they wave high, it's 2 to 4 feet, but those modest swells continuing as well. That's going to do it for your boating forecast. It's time now for your international temperatures, and they're brought to you by Royal Star Assurance. <laughs> All over the town, you're chasing down. Every crap can grab if you want own. You're all over the place, you're trying to roam. You're living that sweet thing at home. I don't care if you're living like with a key. If you live in the end town, this thing don't discriminate. And that's going to do it for your international championship brought to you by Raw Star Shards. But join me at 11 o'clock for a full weather forecast. All right, thanks, Basil. Well, it's the start of a holiday weekend. And what better way to start it than an awesome performance by Wendy242. <laughs> it's Wendy.
it's festival See the junk head of music play While you're standing up over there What you ain't know you know They call it Messy rum and plenty chowder so much for joining us Thank here on the Bahamas Tonight Access Now. My pleasure. Marcella. Awesome stuff. Well, that does it for Access Now, Ladon. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> See you on Monday. <laughs>